Welcome to the next episode of Decans with D. I am Dietmar Ostermann. I'm your host tonight, and I'm the regular guy from Long Island. Christmas is upon us. A time for wine. Some of you are probably still running around trying to get the last Christmas presents. And D Cans with D is trying to be helpful. Here are 12 wines that I picked from the best wines that I tasted during the year of 2020. And I have selected some that are very, very easy on the budget. And I have some more expensive one, but there's not a single bottle on the shelf here that is more than $85. So this is your chance. I've checked. They are still available in the shops, in the various wine shops. Many of them are available at Total Wine. And I also checked the Vivino app. A lot of them are available on Vivino. Now let's look at those wines. First of all, right here in front of me, an assembly of different Cabernet Sauvignon from Napa Valley. My favorite wine, my favorite region. And I have selected two of the 2016 that I had recently and two of the 2017 that are mostly right now in the retail stores. I'm starting off right here with the Barnett Vineyards. I had that wine last night. I had the 2013, not the 2016. And it was fabulous. fabulous. I rated it 5.0 on the Vivino scale from zero to five. This 2016 is equally as good. I've tried it already, but it would be doing better to sit another year or two in uh, the bottle in your cellar. I've also selected the Snowden 2016. And this is particularly the Brothers Vineyard, the dark brown label, not the white label, which is a regular vineyard, the Brothers Vineyard from Snowden. That mine I had earlier was part of my 2016 Napa Valley tasting. It won that tasting. I highly recommend to buy it. It's a Wine Spectator 94 rated. It's a Vivino 4.5 rated. $84, clear buy, still available at Total Wine in New York, probably at your Total Wine as well. Then on the 2017 side, all time favorite of mine, very popular wine, Staxley Wine Cellars, the Artemis, the 2017, which was the year in Napa Valley where they had these gigantic fires. Uh, so the vineyard or the vintage of 2017 overall is a little bit reduced. But the Artemis in 2017 won my 2017 Cabernet Napa Valley tasting. So highly recommended here. The Artemis is also a 4.4 rated wine in Vivino and 92 points by wine enthusiasts. Typically the Artemis runs around $65, $70. And then finally, the Faust, after the famous German play by Goethe, the 2017, again, a good year for Faust. This wine is significantly less than the others. This Cabernet sells typically for $40, $41, $42. At the most, you pay about $50. So here are four top-notch recent Cabernet Sauvignons, all between $40 and $85 that I highly recommend. Moving over to Merlot. I had given up on Merlot, but 2020 was a year where I got back into Merlot. I saw the movie sideways, many of you have too. At that point in time, I decided to go either Cabernet or Pinot Noir, but that was a wrong decision. Merlot is not bad. It has less of a tannins than Cabernet Sauvignon, but the grapes are very similar. So I became a renewed fan 
of Merlot wines, and I want to recommend two of them to you. First one, favorite vineyard of mine, Nickel and Nickel. They are now in cooperation with Farniente. Nickel and Nickel produces excellent Merlots. They have two different types. This one is the Harris Vineyard. The Harris Vineyard is a wine spectator, highly rated wine. It's also a Vino high rated wine. It's on Vivino uh, at 4.3, Wine Spectator 92. That bottle, the 2016, sells for about $49. Highly recommended. Another Merlot, the legend of the Merlots. Dacorn Vineyard in Napa Valley, the classic, the best Merlot producer in California. This is the 2016, the regular uh, Merlot wine from Dacon. That one is rated uh, 4.2 on Vivino, Wine Spectator 90 points. I think that's too low. I had that wine in my Merlot wine tasting. It won it handedly, handedly. High buy recommendation on that wine as well. Moving over to my right hand side, I have selected for us three Pinot Noirs. And you know, if you watch my show, I'm not a big Pinot Noir fan. But these three wines, I do like a lot. I'm starting off right here with the attractive looking bottle with this big red wax on the top. This is the Belle Gloss. Belle Gloss has three different Pinot Noirs. This one is the Las Alta, uh, Alturas, which is probably their most famous one from Santa Lucia Highlands. I like this a lot. This is the 2018 bottle. It is actually very affordable. It sells right now on Rivino for $34. It's a deep, heavy Pinot Noir. Otherwise, Pinot Noirs are quite light. I've also here the Fell, F-E-L. The initials are the uh, uh, initials of Cliff Lady's mother. So this is actually the Cliff Lady Pinot Noir wine. They also have a number of variants from uh, uh, the regular version, but this is the regular version. This is the Anderson Valley Pinot Noir from FEL. I never had it on my show, but I drank it privately. I was very impressed. Can highly recommend that wine. And the FEL Anderson Valley sells for $38, 4.2 rated on Vivino. I give it a higher score than that. And then finally on the Pinot Noir side, my all-time favorite, the Roar. Won my Pinot Noir tasting when I did it earlier on this show. The Roar 2017, also from Santa Lucia Highlands, is a 4.3 on Vivino. $45 for this baby. Best American Pinot Noir I ever had. Okay, if you watched my show, 20 Under 20, an exhausting show, we had to taste 20 wines. The two winner of that show are right over here. Number one, and this is the only foreign wine that I'm introducing in my buy recommendation here. Otherwise, my buy recommendations very much focus on California. But I cannot do without. This is a Malbec from Argentina, 2018. 2018 was an excellent year. Uh, James Suckling rated it 93 points. This is the La Pasta Pizzella. I like it tremendously. Uh, I gave it a 4.5 on Vivino, but the common score is 4.1. $15, ladies and gentlemen. $15 fits into everybody's budget for Christmas. And then over here from California, Cabernet Sauvignon Bella Cosa, the second in my 20 under 20 tasting. This is the 2016. Sonoma County, North Coast, a great Cabernet, and this one, ladies and gentlemen, $20, 4.1 on Vivino, and I gave it a 4.5. And now, and finally, I discovered, when I was looking up the portfolio of j Law. j Law is a pretty uh, common California household name for wine. I oftentimes drink their Chardonnay, I oftentimes drink their Cabernet, but I found a pure parcel. So this is a red wine blend. 
of uh, Petit Chira with Cabernet. It takes the edge of the Cabernet, less tannins. And it was so wonderful that I bought a case of it. And it was really a discovery for me for 2020. This wine sells for $24. And it was rated on Vivino at 4.1. And it's from Paso Robles, California. That is my Christmas show. And I want you to go out and see whether you can buy any of those bottles for yourself, for your friends, or for a nice holiday dinner. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, if you celebrate some other holiday, get some of these wines. It's a perfect match to the season. I see you next Sunday. Cheers.